What's up, my dudes? Val here. And today I'm going to be talking about Canadian Aether, aka Vinti, aka Kazuha. Um, Kazuha, who I called Vinti, will be explained to you in a minute. I'm going to give you guys a very, very abridged notes version of what he does before I explain my thoughts on him. Just know that he is a EM based support. We should be getting official details on Kazuha in a few days, along with 1.6. Um, I'll go over what I believe the banners will be in a different video, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Klee and Kazuha, and I'll explain my reasoning as to why. Well, Kazuha, we definitely know is coming, but Klee is the only one that makes sense. Klee is a, the last unit of 1.0, 1.1 to be reran, and there's some other details I don't want to talk about because it's story spoiler related, and I don't deal with story spoilers, but I will talk about character leaks. So, Kazuha, a bridge notes version. Um, he has a special plunging attack that if he uses his skill, if he presses his skill, he does like a venti that it'll suck enemies in and throw them up in the air. And it'll throw himself up in the air too, I believe. I don't, actually, I think the tap just brings enemies in. He kind of like does a little slam on the ground and just sucks the enemies in. But now if he holds, this is what I was thinking of a second ago. If he holds, he'll jump in the air kind of like venti does. If Whenever venti holds, you guys know how venti will go in the air. He does the exact same thing, and he has a special plunge that converts his plunge into animo damage and also sucks the enemies back in off of that. That's his skill. It looks really freaking cool, and I can't wait for you guys to see it come to 1.6 livestream if you guys have not seen it via leaks already. And then his ult, to describe his ult, is literally the biggest AoE in the game by a country mile. It is going to be huge. It's probably the size of a whole domain. Um, he does like a little spin thingy with his sword, kind of like Eula's ult, like visually, but he summons a giant, like, vortex. It's not a tornado, but it's like a giant wind wall that circles around a huge area, and inside the area deals animo tick damage that can swirl, and it can suck up an element. And it looks like it lasts for quite a while. I haven't seen the exact number. Actually, I can look at the exact number real quick. Um, duration is 8 seconds. 8 seconds is a pretty good duration. He's going to be kind of a mixture between a sub DPS and an off the field E on support. But whenever he hits C6, he turns into a main DPS. I kind of don't like that, but at the same time, that's pretty okay. And then the other thing is basically just him buffing the team through EM and elemental absorptions. Really, really, really pog. Um, he's going to be a very good EM booster, kind of like Sucrose is. So. He's going to be very, very cool. A lot of people are already shrimping for him. A lot of people already know what his skills look like because he's been mega leaked a long time ago. I'm just now covering it because he's about to be revealed, so I don't feel so bad about doing it. I'm not going to talk about numbers whenever it comes to his damage and stuff like that because that's all subject to change until the day that he drops. But just know he's really, really pog looking. Am I super excited for him? I'm actually not really that about height for him. Um, he ticks all the boxes. He's really, really cool. Everything is super cool, super dope. I love supports. I like the fact that we're finally getting another five-star support. But am I like, do I feel the absolute need to want him like Yula or Xiao or Zhongli even? Nah. He's really, really cool, but I'm like, I'm okay about it. If I don't get him, there's always next time. I'm not stressing it too, too much. But let me get into my thoughts. I think... Basically, let me sum up what I've been ranting at for a minute now. Um, I think more supports are very, very needed, especially 5-star supports. Because 5-star supports have shown between all the 5-star supports, with the exception of Chi Chi, and Chi Chi's only irrelevant because healing isn't needed. Um, all the 5-star supports have shown to be absolute insane yeah. game changers. Albedo, Zhongli, Venti, Jean... They've all been nutty as far as supporting capabilities go. Um, they've all shown to be absolute beasts at everything they do. So I think Kazo is going to be a fantastic unit if I take the past in consideration. And visually, he's my second favorite unit in the game. As far as pure visuals go, the visuals of his skills look really cool. He almost gives Zhongli competition with his ult. His ult is visually satisfying as hell. Um, but Zhongli's Meteor still wins the day as my favorite visual ult. And I think it's a really good step into the direction of what I like to call the Weeby stuff. Um, I think with Inazuma we're going to get a bunch of Weeby characters. And if you guys have been on my streams, you know exactly what I'm about to talk about with this. And when I don't mean it in an insulting way, I mean it because I'm a Weeb too. I love Weeby stuff. I really do. And... 
Inazuma is going to bring a whole slew of that, and Kazuo is just the tip of the iceberg. As we work our way down, we're going to get some really cool stuff, and Kazuo is definitely an indication of that. So that's one reason I'm really high for him, specifically, as a unit. I, because um, he's going to like be the start of the weeby stuff, and I, I, need, I need it in my veins. Give me the weeby stuff, dude. I want it so bad. Um, but he's definitely the start of it. Um, so yeah, I can't wait for him. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about Canadian Aether slash Cosmo slash Venti in the comment section below. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching as always. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.